Good morning everyone, Gadget here with another Capture One Pro tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna talk about cropping, keystoning, and straightening your image. Let's get this started. Welcome back everyone, and if you don't know by now, I'm doing this Capture One Pro Bootcamp, so you guys are armed with all the information you need to not only get started with Capture One Pro, to really be proficient with it and to be confident in using it, because I believe this is still the best raw processor available on the market right now, especially if you're a Fuji or even a Sony user. I think this is the best way to go. Now, in this tutorial, very simple. Well, it could be very simple. I'm gonna hopefully make it very simple for you. We're gonna talk about cropping your image, straightening your image, and keystoning your image. So let's go ahead and take a look. We have our image here. If you hit C on your keyboard, it'll actually activate the crop tool. And from here, pretty standard. You can draw your crop. You can pick the corners here and adjust your crop. And you can choose it to your liking and build it how you want to build it. Now, from here, you can change the ratio. So you can go square for Instagram. If you want to go something cinematic, you can even do 16 by 9, for example, right? If you want to go that route. And I hit H on my keyboard to switch to the hand tool. It'll also activate the crop and it'll show you what it looks like. You can also go unconstrained. So if you actually want to go back to C, you can adjust it to however you want to adjust it. Um, you can add your own aspect ratios. You can remove the aspect ratios. You can go with the original, how your camera actually shot the image. Let's go with two by three, how the image was actually shot. Get the crop to a place where we like it. And uh, there's our image. Now we can also straighten our image right here. So in here on our toolbar, you can click it to activate or you can hit R to activate this tool. Now, if you click and hold, your straighten tool can be changed to rotate, rotate left, rotate right, or freehand, depending on what you want it. And it's mapped to the R key. So for example, we hit R to activate the straighten tool. If you have it set up for something else, you can map it to rotate, for example, if you don't want to straighten. You can map it to rotate left, for example, so that every time you just click, it'll rotate your image. However, in any case, let's go back to straight. This is what I like to use. And when you hit R on the keyboard, all you're doing is you're drawing a straight line of what you want to straighten. So horizontal, vertical, maybe even diagonal. You're just picking out the plane you want to align with. So say, for example, I want her face to be in line, vertical. There you have it. I can go back to C, adjust my crop, and I now have this image. Looks a little weird, actually. It looks like someone else's hand is on her face. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and reset the image right now. But that's how the straighten tool works. You hit the R key, there's tiles in the backdrop here. Maybe I wanna adjust for those tiles, and it just straightens the image to your liking. There's also horizontal tiles here. I can adjust according to that. This works really well for architectural or landscape photography. You can get it to a real pinpoint accuracy of how you want to straighten your image instead of just picking the corners and rotating them and guesstimating. Now you also have the ability to keystone an image. And what this is actually doing is, if I can translate it, skewing the image either horizontally or vertically, depending on your subject matter, to get it to a place that is visually pleasing. If you're shooting a lot of buildings, for example, and you're at the bottom and you shoot up, and all of a sudden the building looks like it's going away from you, if you have enough resolution in your camera especially, you can keystone the top of that image and skew it pulling it outward and it's using that extra resolution to straighten that building towards you. So keystoning can be really useful, especially when you're working with models, depending on how you shot it. You can use it very sparingly to just finish an image just a little bit. So how does this actually work? You go to your keystone tool, and you have your vertical, horizontal, the amount and the aspect. When you're working with images, generally vertical and horizontal is what you're gonna play with just to see if it works out for the image that you're working with. Now you can even get even more granular if you select the horizontal or vertical activation tools here. You can actually line it up to say, for example, where your model actually is, and then 
after you've set these guidelines, go into your vertical keystone and adjust accordingly. And it'll use those guidelines as sort of that framing to use your keystone effect. So this is what the image looked like before, a little bit wide. And with our keystone, it just slims the image a little bit and pulls it down, pulls that jawline down. Just a minute adjustment. If you didn't see this happening, you probably wouldn't recognize it. It would seem natural to you. But again, this is the power of keystoning along with crop and straightening in Capture One Pro. Between these three tools, you can get a lot of composition work done inside Capture One Pro at a very granular level and ultimately bring the most out of your image. Thank you so much for watching again and please let me know what you think. Are you enjoying these Capture One Pro tutorials? Is there something you'd like to see specifically? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in starting Capture One, you can start your free trial today. The link is in the description. And more importantly, if you wanna support this channel and my work, please do consider using my code. It's my first name, Gadgen, and that'll actually directly support this channel if you're interested in purchasing Capture One. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.